hyper conjugation effect in reaction mechanisms hyper conjugation effect is a special case of electronic effect we will give a brief summary of electronic effect and then delve into hyper conjugation effect there are four types of electronic effects inductive effect which is transmitted through the sigma bonds mesomeric effect which is transmitted through the pi bonds hyper conjugation effect which is transmitted through the overlap of pi and sigma bonds and electromeric effect which is a temporary effect in the presence of attacking reagent it's important to know that the mesomeric effect is stronger than the hyper conjugation effect which is stronger than the induct inductive effect so according to inductive effect the i plus effect tertiary butyl has a greater plus i effect than methyl so b should be more reactive than a but this is not so it is observed that a is more reactive than b so this is true only when these methyl or ethyl are attached to carbon with sigma bond however when these are attached to a carbon with a double bond or a carbocation or a carbon radical we find that tertiary butyl is less strong than isopropyl which is less strong than ethyl and which is less strong than methyl and this effect is called hyper conjugation effect we try and understand the hyper conjugation effect here so we have this carbon which is attached in a sigma bond with h and in a pi bond with two carbon atoms now the electrons here in the sigma bond jump to the pi bond and create resonance structures and this overlap of sigma bond with pi bond creates the hyper conjugation effect this is also called a no bond resonance because in this hydrogen there is no overlap of electrons with the carbon here it is also to be noted that in tertiary butyl we would have had two more ch2s here and therefore we could have had more resonance structures and therefore tertiary butyl is the most stable so coming back to the original question and trying to understand which is more stable and we see that this follows a pattern of c double bond c r and we have a similarly a c double bond c and the various methyl groups here and therefore this tertiary butyl structure is more stable compared to the methyl structure so here we have uh, 12 hydrogen atoms in a hyper conjugation structure with this double bond uh, and here we have 8 and we have 5 here and therefore one would be most stable since it will create the most number of resonance structures uh, we will see more of these in the video on resonance so here uh, one is a conjugated system so uh, there the double bond can shift here this double bond can shift here this is called a conjugated system it has resonance and it is stable Uh, two is a isolated system of hyper conjugated carbon so this can shift here and this can shift here and that's it uh in the third case it's a cumulative system that means you know they are working in opposite directions to each other and it has hyper conjugation in uh, in the opposite directions 
so it is less stable than 2 so 1 stability of 1 is greater than stability of 2 is greater than stability of 3 so here we see that uh, this particular carbon has uh, uh, 12 hydrogen atoms in hyperconjugation whereas here there are only 4 and uh, therefore uh, 1 is more stable than 2 and therefore more of 1 will be seen as a product than 2. 